Welcome back to Huawei Routing and Switching Elite Training for HCIE. Today topic we are going to discuss on IPv6. Let's start our part 5. Now if let's say you are familiar with the ISIS v4 uh, IPv4, ISIS with IPv6 is almost identical except that they introduced two more TLV. Okay, so these are additional TLV or type length value that introduced to support the IPv6. So TLV236 describe the network reachability by defining the route prefix and metric and TLV232 is similar to IPv4 uh, uh, okay, which is the interface address except that it is 128 bit. So there are the only, these are the only differences between the IPv4 uh, ISIS and IPv6 ISIS. So you can see that the easiest protocol to work with is the ISIS because by default, uh, we do not need to change a lot of things in the ISIS because of the type length value. So let me show you a very short demonstration on how you can configure the ISIS IPv6. Okay, so I have uh, deleted the OSPF. Okay, so I'm going to start with the uh, ISIS. All right, so very simple. So firstly, we just configure the ISIS here. Then we have to configure the network entity. Let's say I'm going to give a system ID and a node. So this one you learn it in the uh, IPv4 ISIS, but if you want to enable the ISIS in IPv6, you have to say that ISIS IPv6. Okay, sorry. You can take under the ISIS process, ISIS v6 enable. Okay, so let me show you here. So you just have to enable the ISIS process, no entity, and you just enable the IPv6. Now you have enabled, then we can just go into the interface. ISIS enable one. ISIS IPv6 enable. Okay, so these are the two commands that's required for you to enable on the interface. All right, so let me go to the gig 001 that is between one and two, and ISIS enable one. ISIS IPv6 enable. So let me confirm that this has been enabled, display ISIS1 interface. And you can see that the IPv6 is up. Okay, now I'm going to do it on router 2. ISIS, network entity. And I need to go to the interface. There you have it. Okay, so now you can see that they give me an error. The reason? Because on my global ISIS, I have not enabled yet. So let me do IPv6 enable. Then I go back here on the interface, followed by the ISIS IPv6 enable. There you have it. So when I do a display ISIS 1 interface is up, and now I should see my peering. There you have it. So you can see it's up. Now you can see there's the two peerings because that they are running on both L1 and L2. So similar to what we have in the ISIS under IPv4. And finally, let me do on the router 3, ISIS, no entity. All right, this is network. IPv6 enable, interface gate 000, ISIS enable process ID 1, ISIS IPv6 enable. Okay, so once this is done, it's time for us to see our uh, topology as well as the routing table. So let's look into our LSDB. There you have it. I have my LSDB there. Display ISIS 
route there you have it all right so this is my route on 2001 so if I'm going to do a ping IPv6 2001 colon 112 colon colon 2 there you have it I can able to ping now what you can see from my wire shell here is that I'm going to look into the ISIS okay so these are my ISIS all right as you can see that they are still running on the layer 2 and uh, there's not much things that is actually changed except that now they do support the IPv6 and this is the uh, uh, what we call the um, TLV that I mentioned earlier on okay so configuring the ISIS to support uh, IPv6 is pretty easy if you are going to configure on the ISIS that's why many of the provider they prefer to use ISIS over the OSPF all right that's just general statement so another unique cast routing on IPv6 is the BGP so this is a BGP 4 plus the plus over here referring to the IPv6 and this is a multi protocol version so BGP 4 plus apply to IPv6 and in MPBGP they introduced two new optional non-transitive attribute which is multi protocol rich NLRI and MP unrich NLRI and you also have the IPv6 family address as well now again I'm going to show you a very short demo but definitely the BGP 4 plus is a very huge topic now in your exam they are not going to test you very uh, in depth but you do have a way on the uh, the trend is that we are moving to IPv6 so it is important for you to know in detail uh, as in your work okay all right so let me jump to the lab now okay so I'm going to show you how you can configure the uh, BGP plus let's do a R1 and R3 using a IBGP okay and uh, 1 and 2 using a eBGP all right so between 1 and 3 okay so let's just do our BGP so we have one tree now for BGP very important is that you need to have a router ID okay without the router ID it will not work so let's say I'm going to use a router ID of 111 which is using 32 bit and I'm going to do a peer with 2001 colon 12 colon colon 3 with the AS number of 13 so this will be a IBGP now on top of that you have to enable the uh, peering so you are going to go into the new address family which is IPv6 unicast then you are going to do a peer one more time to enable them okay so this is a complete configuration on how you can configure the BGP peering so let me go to R3 now okay BGP 13 that will be on IBGP before that remember router ID router ID so this will be 333 now if let's say you have configured router ID on a system view then you do not need to configure this on under the BGP view so now I'm going to configure the 2001 colon 12 colon colon 1 as number of 13 IPv6 unicast then I'm going to do a peering one more time this is under the address family so now what we need to do here let me do a capture okay and uh, let me show you the display I need to do a peering okay so you just need to configure or type in display BGP IPv6 peer as you can see that it's still idle uh, and we know that BGP is rather slow protocol because of using TCP now you can see that it's already established now if you look into the trace on the Wireshark okay and uh, let's do a BGP you can see that uh, the finite state machine the finite state machine over here is similar you still have the open message keep alive message and you also have a update message and a notification message 
and you can see that TCP base that is similar to what we have in IPv4 and they're also using a port of 179 except that now they are using MPBGP okay so you can see that this is the parameters and they are using the multi protocol extension okay so that's the extension and uh, we have over here the AS number okay and other than that uh, the BGP is the same because they are using the uh, MP uh, or multi protocol alright so now you have the peering so display BGP um, let's see here I'm going to do IPv6 and I'm going to look into the routing table of course that we do not have anything yet because we have not configured any network statement right now I'm going to configure that between 1 and 2 that this time is the eBGP now other iBGP or eBGP will be the same except that the AS number is, does, uh, is different okay so on R1 I'm going to do a BGP 13 I'm going to do a peer with 2001 colon 112 colon colon 2 okay and the AS number let's say I'm going to use 12 okay IPv6 unicast all right so that is on R1 and in R2 this one will be on the BGP 12 and I'm going to configure the peer all right, let's see what will happen here. Peer 2001 colon 112 colon colon 1 AS number of 13. You notice that I have here router ID is not configured. Now, I did warn you saying that if let's say on the BGP you do not have any system router ID or you also do not have any BGP router ID, you will get this error. Now, let me configure that under the system. So I'm going to do a router ID and I'm going to do a 222 two. under the BGP 12 I'm going to do a peer 2001 112 colon colon 1 AS number of 13 okay so you can see that the earlier one it doesn't actually remove for me okay what I need to do is just on IPv6 unicast and I do a peer 201 12 colon colon 1 enable okay so this is how you can actually configure uh, on the uh, peering now then the next thing here is what, ha what if let's say I want to configure the network statement now if you want to configure the network statement firstly you have to go back into the IPv6 unicast then from here you are going to use a network statement let's say I'm going to have a network statement of like this okay All right you can see that because I do not have any uh, network here but if, if I do have then it will allow me to advertise this network let's have a look here uh, I do an interface loop at zero do I have any IP here nope IPv6 enable IPv6 address 2222 colon 22 colon colon 2 128 I go back into my BGP then I go to the IPv6 unicast display this okay you can see that they already have it so if I go to R1 and I'm going to check my routing table display BGP IPv6 routing table there you have it okay so this is how you can configure the BGP successfully alright this is just a simple demonstration you need to do more in-depth study because um, on this topic we only touch on the uh, introduction thanks for watching Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel.